Okay then, in this video we will continue talking about custom icons in Leaflet. But this time we will discuss div icon, which is different to this l.icon class. So I'll show you this div icon class using Leaflet, official Leaflet documentation. So that's why let's head over to the Leaflet documentation and let's go to so icon, so which is under basic types. So we have icon, but we also have div icon. So this one we used previously. So and in this video we will discuss div icon. So the difference between them is this one l.icon uses an image to display icons while this one div.icon uses div element or html div element to display images so i can show this one to you so for instance this one uses l.icon not a div icon so in here it uses an image so if i click um, it just creates an image and then right click inspect in Chrome takes you to the responsible HTML um, element so and this element is image you see so that's image this one is image so and div icon will use HTML div element so you can read this one as well represents a lightweight icon for markers that uses a simple div element instead of an image so if you would like to use this one div icon all you need to do is you initialize this div icon class by calling it so and you do it by l dot div icon and then you do, you can pass some options to this class for instance class name so this class name is um, can be then refer uh, refer reference uh, refer it in uh, in your styles in CSS. So for instance, in here it says class name, and then they're saying my div icon, and you can read as in here as well. It says you can set dot my div icon styles in CSS, and you can pass some other options like you know these ones. And we can also, we will discuss these ones, um, these options uh, in a minute. So let's implement this one very quickly. So what we will do in this video is instead of, um, instead of this L icon, we'll just use um, div icon and we will, uh, we will, we'll use the same, Im the same image. All right. So let's implement that. So for that, let's go to our code and we can comment out this l.icon class. So what we need in here is instead of this l.icon, we need customer, uh, sorry, we need a div icon. So let's do that. So we'll say const my div icon. So and then we'll say l div spelling is very important again. So we say l dot div icon, and then we can pass some options. So the first one is a class name. So we can say, for instance, my. You can write whatever you like. I will. I will write my hyphen div hyphen icon, and then we can also specify size for this icon. So let's make, for instance, the size. Let's make it maybe thirty pixels. So very basic one and we'll just copy this and then we'll pass this one to our um, L dot marker so instead of my custom icon we'll just replace it with my div icon so we have now this div icon and it has a class called my div icon so that means we can um, refer to this um, L div icon or this one my div icon using this so I'll show you so in styles let's go to styles and right after this uh, map ID we'll say dot because we're referring to, uh, to to a class so from CSS you know that you can refer to the uh, to the class by by saying hey dot and then class name so and then here we can specify, for instance, in here, background image. So background image, 
and then URL and then URL to our image that would be then again data icon point okay um, so basically that's it so all we, uh, we did in here is we just initialized it and then we're referring to this my diff icon using this class all right so let's check so now if I click as you can see it is putting uh, an icon our custom icon on top of the map that's fine the size is not very good that's fine we'll fix it so now if I go to inspect it's now you know you see it's diff class it's not an image so and you can see diff class and then the first class name is leaflet hyphen marker icon and the second one is my diff icon which is coming from from this all right so now regarding this um which is just not covering up the entire area of the html container so what we can do is background size i'll just write this one and then i will explain what i have done so i'll, I'll just say cover so background size cover so that means just all i'm just saying hey cover the entire area of the container which is development so you should know this one from from css so you see it's now it's just covering the entire area of the uh, container previously it was too big so and uh, we 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 saw only the part of the image but now it's we see it in full that, that's good if you want this image to be bigger you can change for instance in here you can instead of 30 pixel you can say hey i want 50 pixel so that's going to be bigger it will be bigger so and you can also specify some other options in here so html so that means um, you can you can pass to this html string or html element so that means if you pass for instance string instead of you know this kind of image it's gonna be your string so and then you can also pass some other options which are inherited from icon class from previous l dot icon class you see so that's how you use um, l dot diff icon in leaflet and and basically that's it regarding this video and i will see you in the next one